Shalom. Uh, before I begin this video, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, Rahawa And double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. They continually rule very well. Shalom to the whole elect. That's our continually laboring in this work. That's our giving our diligence to make your calling lecture sure in our faith, truth, sincerity. Shalom. Now, the uh, topic of this video is going to be um, basically more info concerning um, the prophecy of the mark of the beast, which is uh, spoken about in the book of Revelations, the 13th chapter, in the 16th verse. Uh, because, uh, you know, this current system that is uh, set up here in America is a uh, leading towards the direction of the implementation of the microchip technology, all right? Because, you know, back before we had uh, credit cards and debit cards, you know, we had cash. You know, we had cash and coins, which we had to pay pay by. But, and then it went from that to uh, using the credit cards and debit cards, right? You could just use a magnet strip on the back of a credit card or a debit card. And then it moved on from that to... Uh, having a, a small chip within your card or your debit card or your credit card and you have to use that because uh now you know you have stores that that uh if you try to swipe with your card you know you can't you, you can't do that because it, whenever you do that it's going to ask to uh to to insert the chip within their card okay and which really this is uh us moving away from from uh cash all right because you know, that's just a, a Esau is trying to completely control the people, and that's his plan. That's that's a part of his agenda, which he has set up. Okay, to uh, keep track of the people, you know what they're buying, what they're doing, you know the conversations, you know what they like and what their likes and dislikes, what they're into, their hobbies, you know where they work. All right, so if if you have cash, you know they can't track that, you know because that's, that's just a you know, a transaction by the hand. You know, you have cash in your hand, you just give it to them, and and, and that's a done deal, all right? Which, you know, the cash is, you know, it says a, a legal tender, all right, which a legal tender means you can just take it to any store and, you know, use it to purchase anything. But like I said before, you know, we're moving away from the from the cash now, man, all right? Or should I say Esau's moving away from the cash and, and it's going to completely go to uh, a cashless society and ultimately, it's going to lead up to uh, the microchip because with this uh, system that's set up with the, the chips within the cards, you know, it's going to lead all the way to uh, inserting the chip within your hand. All right. Because they're going to promote that, you know, it'll be, you know, within your hand. You know, nobody can steal it. You know, nobody can. Uh, you know, nobody can't steal it unless they chop your hand off or, you know, wherever that chip is within your body. All right. And I just want to bring out this uh, quick news article because this is uh, just uh, to show you that this is the direction that we're headed to. All right. Because, uh, you know, this is from CBS uh, Philadelphia. Right. It says Secret Service warns of credit card chip scheme report says. OK. So it says uh, the, U the U.S. Secret Service is reportedly warning banks about a new car, a new scheme that is targeting the chips and credit cards sent through the mail. Okay. Now, uh, it says, according to the report on uh, Krebs on security.com, the scheme involves criminals who intercept letters uh, containing debit cards that use chip technology. And it said the scammers swap out the new chip with an old one and then sent the letter back out to its original destination. Okay. Because, see, that's the thing, man. You know, if they say that criminals, you know, get, get a hold of, you know, scammers or criminals get a hold of the cards you know, in the mail. Well, the thing is that how in the world are they able to get their hands on it, man? All right. And it's going to go into it. So once the actual card holder activates a new card, criminals are able to use a stolen chip to access their victim's account and drain their funds. The corporate office activates a debit payment card. However, that payment card is inop inoperable thanks to the old chip. Okay. <clears throat> um, Let's see, it's like it. Uh, it said the Secret Service uh, memo reportedly sent to financial institutions in March did not detail when or where the cars are being stolen and tampered with, and they're not going to tell you, all right, because this is all part of, of the the plan that's been set up by these so-called elites of Esau, which, you know, 
I'm going to keep bringing it out over and over again that Esau is the so-called white man. That's a true biblical nationality. Okay. This is a, a part of his agenda. This is uh, to pretty much set uh, a scenario to where the people is going to look at it and react to it. All right. And find another solution. And which that solution is going to lead all the way up to the to the microchip technology, man, which is the mark of the beast. Okay. So it says, uh, it could well involve U.S. Postal Service employees, or perhaps the thieves are somehow gaining access to company and mailboxes directly. So hey, it isn't this? <laughs> how are they gaining, you know, access to comp uh, gaining access to company and mailboxes directly, man? All right, that's a question. That needs to be answered. All right. Chris writes, either way, this alert shows the extent to which some thieves will go to target high value customers. And we already know what Esau is up to, man. All right. Now, uh, continue on. I'm going to go this last paragraph, right? It says credit, uh, credit card chips were created to defend against uh, scheming devices, which steal information through the magnetic strip on the back of the car, which, you know, they, uh, I believe I, I saw... Uh, a, a news uh, footage of somebody like replacing the the machine, or somebody replacing the the, the top part of the machine. All right, which uh, is is set up to give the information to whoever set set up that uh, that piece of equipment on the machine, where it's, where you're supposed to swipe your card. All right, and then they moved on from that and went to the chip cards, where now you have to use a chip. But now they're saying that oh, now they're replacing the the, the chips now. All right, which we already know, man. This is this is all in the control under the so-called elites, man. We already know this, okay? And that's what we headed towards. We headed towards a microchip technology, man, which is the that's a part of their agenda. All right. So, you know, it says security experts say criminals have already adapted their technology to read the chips as well, okay? So that's it on this article, man. If you want to read some more. Uh, you can just look up Secret Service warns of credit card chip scheme report says for CBS Philly. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the uh the precept, right? Because Esau, he is gonna reach his agenda, man. That's why the prophecy's gotta be fulfilled, man. It's concerning uh Revelation 13 chapter and the 16 verse. It speaks about the mark of the beast, which I'm gonna get there in a second, you know, just to just to bring it out for edification to the ones of you that are just now tuning in. You know, Esau is gonna reach reach his uh, agenda, man, but it's only gonna be a, a short time. All right, he's only going to get a small taste of it, and then the Lord's going to um, intervene. All right, this is Job the 20th chapter and 18 verse said, "That which he labor for shall he restore, and shall not swallow it down. According to his substance shall the restitution be, and he shall not rejoice therein." All right, now uh, Slaki as well. If I had to put the phone down from time to time here in my job, uh, Slaki, if I had to uh, handle business, just bear with me. It says uh, verse 19 said, "Because he hath oppressed and hath forsaken the poor." Because he had violently taken away a house which he built and not. Surely he shall not feel quietness in his belly. He shall not savor that which he desired. And that's all these years that Esau has been working up to this point now. To have complete control over the people. All right. He's not going to be able to enjoy it, man. All right. Like it says right here. So he shall not save of that which he desired. Which is what? Uh, to be to be gods. Okay. That's the ultimate goal that these elites are trying to reach. Okay, verse 21 said, There shall none of his meat be left, therefore shall no man look for his goods. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. When he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he's eating. And that's that's correct, all right? Because when he's about to fill his belly, right, when he reach his, uh, his goal, all right, it said, The Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it. All right, which ultimately is going, this is going to the thermonuclear missiles, the thermonuclear destruction of America, which is Babylon the Great in the Scriptures. Okay, it's saying shall rain it upon him while he is eating. All right, so when he's eating of, of that new world order that he's been so long desiring, the Lord is going to smack the fork out of his hand, man. All right, and destroy this place and destroy everything that he set up all these all these years that Esau's been 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 working towards his goal. The Lord is going to get rid of it, and the Scriptures speak about that, man. It's going to be destroyed within one hour. Okay. Verse 24 says, He shall flee from the iron weapon, and the bow still shall strike him through. And that's pretty much it on now. Now I want to grab uh, uh, 
another precept. Now, uh, this is the book of, uh, let's see. So our Revelation is the 18th chapter. I'm going to start at the 10th verse. Uh, as we start at verse 9, it's lucky. It's saying, The kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall beware her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. Standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, the great city Babylon, which once again is America, the gold, which is that golden city, all right, that mighty city, for in one hour is that judgment come, man. So in this, is, this place is going to be destroyed in one hour, man. All the years of work that Esau has put in is going to be destroyed within one hour. It's like taking building blocks, you know, uh, or should I say, you know, it's like, you know, building a, uh, a building or whatever. You know, you, you did all this planning, you know, it, you took so much time to put it together. And then after after that, you know, here comes the wrecking crew. All right. You take a. a, a, a um, what you call it again? The, the the word escapes me right now. It's like a big ball of iron. All right, you take it and and you demolish the building, which is only it only takes a little time <laughs> to demolish the whole building, and that's how the Lord's gonna deal with this place, man. Okay. Now I want to jump to Revelation 13 chapter for the sake of edification. Revelation 13 chapter in the 16 verse. Uh, he's saying he caused it all, both small and great, and Mind you, it say he calls it all, okay? Everybody. In other words, he's gonna force the people to accept this uh this new technology, which the which is the microchip technology, okay? Both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, all right? And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So there it is, man. All right. You don't have this new new technology, this this microchip. You won't be able to buy or sell anything, man. Okay, and that's was that's going to be the new form of uh of uh payments in the time to come. And we and you just now seeing that with this article that just pulled up concerning this man, this is going to be uh, taken accounted for when they start uh fully implementing this new technology, man. Which once again 